Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining this webinar, Leveraging the Most Accurate Geocodes Across the Enterprise. My name is Jan. I'm the um, host or running the actual uh, webcast, and I will be joined momentarily by our speaker, David Russell. Uh, before we get started, just want to point out a couple of tips. If you're viewing this um, as an on-demand recording, the same rules apply. Uh, you can maximize or minimize the boxes that you see in front of you. Uh, those are called widgets. And if you take a moment now to find the resource widget at the bottom of your screen, uh, if you open that, you'll see that I've placed the link uh, to, or I'm sorry, uh, I've placed the um, copy of the presentation today as a PDF because that's usually, usually the most popular question that I get. Um, we are going to answer any questions that you enter in that Q&A widget, um, most likely at the end of the presentation, depending on how many we get and how technical they are or um, relevant to uh, the topic. If you have questions about or having issues during the presentation, go ahead and put your question in there and I'll help you solve it. So without further ado, I will turn the microphone over to our presenter today, David Russell. David? Thank you, Jen. So as Jen said, uh, my name is David Russell. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at LPA. LPA is a business partner of Pitney Bowes, and we focus on a, a wide variety of things. You know, who LPA is, we're a consulting firm. We have a number of different services and capabilities that we provide to our customers. Uh, we partner with Pitney Bowes on location analytics, um, as well as their data products and other other capabilities that Pitney Bowes brings to the table. Uh, our primary partner is IBM. Uh, we do a lot of things with business intelligence and predictive analytics and AI on the IBM stack and then Modio because within IBM we work with Cognos, uh, which is a uh, BI platform that Modio works with. Um, we provide training as well as other services around business intelligence and uh, data science and managed services around those uh, capabilities. Um, and we'll you know, continue to talk today specifically about Pitney Bowes and the location analytics and geocoding in particular. Uh, you know, we're going to start out talking about why geocoding accuracy matters. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Pitney Bowes geocoding capability and uh, the enriched data uh, with geocoding. We'll talk a bit about the geocoding connector uh, that's really the focus of what we're talking about today. Uh, we'll have a demo uh, during this. That demo will be really slideware um, rather than a live demo, but to give you an idea of what's involved with the geocoder and really the idea being that you don't necessarily have to rip and replace what you already have, particularly if you um, work with Esri products primarily. There are ways that you can incorporate the uh, high location accuracy available from Pitney Bowes with that existing environment. And then at the end, we'll sort of wrap things up and answer any questions that you've had. So if you're attending this, you probably have some sense of why geo geocoding accuracy matters, but let's talk a little bit about it. So when we talk about geocoding, what is it really? It's all about providing geographical locations uh, or geographical coordinates based on a location. You know, when we think about GPS in the world, that's sort of a, you know, handheld geocoder, if you will, for where you are in the world, what are those specific geographical coordinates? But most of the time, we're working with large data sets that have addresses or information about our customers, and we want to be able to know where they are located in the world and what those geographical coordinates for those their location is based on the information that we have available, whether that's simply a name of a company or whether that's uh, their, their actual address and their, you know, which provides a location, but that location information is different than knowing the precise position on the globe, if you will. And, you know, in the end, location is at the heart of every business decision that we make. You know, it starts with a place on that map, and then you might look at the distance between two points uh, on the map because that distance could be important for what you're doing. Um, you know, the idea of proximity. Am I closer to one point than another? Um, interesting that we jumped there. And... You know, eligibility. Mm -hmm. There you go. Whether you're in or out, 
of an area um, and whether you have relationships between points that are closer together or clustered together. Um, or you might have demographics, you know, some information about one cluster or, or one set of points that's different than another based on that location. And all of those things, you know, are going to be inputs to different types of business decisions that you may be making, uh, whether you are in healthcare and deciding whether uh, a group is eligible for coverage based on physical location, uh, whether you are in uh, a government organization making similar decisions, or whether you're a business just trying to understand what are the, you know, what are the types of customers that are coming to your establishment or who are you know, frequent you, and how does location build into that? And even insurance, uh, whether someone or a location is inside a floodplain or outside a pl floodplain, and that's the sort of thing where geocoding accuracy really matters, where you need to know rooftop level accuracy for your geocodes in order to understand exactly where a structure is on the map uh, and its relationship to other things that might be of a risk to that. You know, and the questions that you may ask and that you may be able to answer with some of this location data, you know, covers a gamut, a wide variety of things. You know, how can you identify and target your customers based on demographic information and what you know about where they're located relative to where your products are usually sold. You know, how do you improve the quality of the addresses at the time they're entered? You know, that's really a problem of address uh, data sets and doing address validation. Um, but, you know, geocoding can come into play because the better quality the address is, the better your geocoding is going to be because you're going to match to that location database more accurately. Um, you know, in, uh, you know, I talked about insurance there, the idea of you know, lowering our property risk exposure there, you know, based on the specific locations of the sites that I'm interested in, either within my corporate environment where I'm trying to minimize risk for my company uh, specifically, or an insurer, in, an insurer where I'm insuring structures and properties and making sure that I'm reducing my risk exposure based on those risk elements and where they are located physically. So let's talk a little bit about, about geocoding with Pitney Bowes specifically. So if you're not familiar already with Pitney Bowes, they have a wide variety of products around location intelligence, everything from customer information management, being able to understand your customers and all the data that you have about that, those customers, uh, your location intelligence data sets that are usually location-based uh, that can help you understand your customer better, uh, tools to help you with shipping and mailing and global e-commerce. All of these are tools that Pitney Bowes provides. You know, obviously, today we're going to be focused on that location intelligence piece and geocoding specifically. Pitney Bowes offers the most accurate level of geography attainable. So they have capabilities to do forward geocoding, reverse geocoding, and routing from the data sets they have availability available to you. And they have different levels of accuracy available in, that, in those different data sets. Uh, some of that, those levels of accuracy are based on you know, what you want to geocode against from a data set perspective. And some of them are the different levels of accuracy available within the data sets themselves. So everything from you know, your sort of more classical geocoding of interpolated street addresses where you uh, identify a street address and you identify its location based on a scaled road network and you simply have a start number and end number on that road and then it scales your position along that road uh, based on that. They have that level of accuracy, but you can also get to deeper levels of accuracy where you have parcel centroid data or even rooftop data for structures and addresses. Uh, that you have available. You can do a geocoding against landmarks and points of interest, as well as other information that you might have available. So today we're talking specifically about this geocoding connector. You know, the idea is to allow you to refit, rethink and re-engineer your business and how you do business. Um, and that Pitney Bowes is striving to provide tools and capabilities that allow you to work within the infrastructure that you have and not necessarily require that you rip and replace in order to be able to take advantage of the capabilities that Pitney provides, whether that is with their general location and data analytics platform that allows for uh, services and uh, using web services and other capabilities to access 
uh, software and tools that Pitney Bowes provides, or in this case with geocoding specifically, being able to use, take advantage of the accuracy that Pitney Bowes provides through their geocoding uh, tools and data that they have, uh, but use that in an Esri environment, being able to access that geocoder in your pre-existing environment and not needing to move everything to Pitney Bowes to take advantage of it. So what is the Pitney Bowes geocoding connector? It's a connector for ArcGIS that makes the world-class Pitney Bowes geocoding available to you in that environment. It works primarily with ArcGIS Online and Portal, providing you an ability to integrate that uh, geocoder into those platforms and then access through your ArcGIS desktop environment pointing to the online environment or portal that you already have set up. It supports the primary four geocoding operations, whether that's doing your single address or batch forward or reverse geocoding. Uh, it also does uh, type ahead geocoding and suggestions of addresses as you type them. Uh, those are all supported through this environment. And it does require that you have a Pitney Bowes geocoding solution uh, separately. So the connector is an add-on that once you buy the geocoding capability from Pitney Bowes, you can use the connector then to make that geocoding capability available in your Esri environment. And you get a lot more value with that geocoding connector. You get you know, consistent and confident geocoding uh, to improve your positional accuracy and to get superior coverage and throughput uh, with that data set and improve your business process results. Uh, you get some efficiency. Uh, if you, you know, in some cases, we have customers that previously have been using Pitney Bowes to get high accuracy geocode information and then have to figure out a way to switch between your different software packages. With something like this, you can stay in your Esri environment and still take advantage of the Pitney Bowes capabilities. Um, and it allows you to standardize on your best of breed geocoding solution that's been, and you can spend less time and money training for a new environment and developing integration costs and other things by using this connector directly rather than trying to figure out how to integrate Esri with Pitney geocoding capability yourself. So to get an idea of what this might look like in an environment, so for those of you that do have Esri, you may have seen Esri Online or Esri Portal. The Esri Online environment is, you know, the portal is the local environment that allows a web interface to access mapping tools. In this case, I'm showing a, you know, simplified uh, the web version of ArcGIS Online. When you're in ArcGIS Online, you can simply go to configure your organization and your environment, and in that environment you have the ability to add geocoding services. Frequently this is used to add geocoding services that you have customized within your organization within ArcGIS and ArcGIS server. Uh, but we take advantage of that integration with Pit to allow you to integrate a Pitney Bowes geocoder into the environment. You just click on add locator like you would with a custom locator that you've had. You provide the URL to the Pitney Bowes connector and give it some additional information and, and how you want to be able to use that new locator uh, for Pitney Bowes within your Esri environment. And then that adds in your Pitney Bowes geocoder as another locator within the environment. In this case, we've moved it to the top, so it's used by default uh, as the first service within your Esri environment. And in ArcGIS Online, you have your standard map, and at this point, once you've added that locator, it becomes available to you to geocode your addresses in that environment. And you'll see you have a drop down that appears once you have more than one geocoder available to you that allows you to choose a particular one if you want to focus on a specific geocoder rather than having it search across all the different locators that are configured. In this case, we can pick the Pitney Bowes geocoder specifically. And at that point, that becomes the geocoder that's being used within the Esri environment. Um, so when you type in an address and it deals with type ahead, it makes suggestions using the um, back end of the Pitney Bowes suggestions from the Pitney Bowes geocoder for addresses. Um, and then that geocoded environment and different suggestions for alternative addresses that might be, a, that might be used for that same location are offered up as well. 
once you have that configured in Portal or ArcGIS Online, you can also, in your ArcGIS desktop, reference these locators that are deployed for you uh, and use those from your desktop tool as well, uh, rather than simply doing it through the web interface. Uh, so you're not limited to using the web interface directly. You know, in the end, you know, geocoding solutions for Fitney Bows provide you additional access as well. So this is beyond the geocoding capabilities with Esri uh, and beyond the just the simple geocoding. Uh, Pitney Bows provides data sets that can enrich your business decisions that can be accessed through a unique identifier that Pitney Bows assigns to all U.S. addresses called the PV key. That PB key uh, stays with a physical building or location uh, regardless of changes to the address underneath it. And that unique identifier for that particular location on the globe can be used to access Pitney Bowes' other data sets. Um, those data sets, you know, your world streets data, your world points of interest, your world boundaries, your de demographics, Geo-enrichment is where that PB key comes into play. Geo-enrichment, Pitney Bowes has data sets around risk for flood and fire uh, that are geographically based and can be referenced by PB key, as well as property attributes for parcels uh, that can similarly be accessed so that once you've done your geocoding to get that unique identifier and that particular location on the globe, you can get to these data sets. And one of the real improvements of that unique key is getting these data sets doesn't mean that you're doing some sort of a point in polygon test yourself to find out where that address lies. That's essentially already been done behind the scenes and you simply have a unique identifier that allows you to go and pick up the records for these data sets that match that point on the map. Um, but that the first step is doing the geocoding from an existing data address or other location data that you have to pick up latitude and longitude and um, finally your PB key to access these other data sets. And really it comes that's part of the focus for Pitney Bowes and, and not just part of it, but really the focus for Pitney Bowes is the idea that their geocoding is all about context. How do I provide more information to you uh, about your property and about your location that you're interested in rather than, you know, those other solutions that are all about just where are you on the map and making sure that you know only that position and, you know, getting the address information right. You know, in some ways for Pitney Bowes, those are, yes, things that they do and have the data capability and capabilities to provide those, you know, basics. Um, but really the focus is how do I get the greatest information available to me about the location that I'm looking at and what is that context as I roll it into um, my other business solutions because it's really about you know what's that value to my organization of this geocoding and location information rather than just getting location to have location available. You know there are a lot of customers already out there using the uh, Pitney Bowes geocoding. Um, you can see a smattering of them in different areas whether that's telco insurance financial services or even other organizations out there um, so it isn't you know this isn't new if you're not if you haven't been using Pitney Bowes geocoding it's out there people trust it and the accuracy you know many of the customers that I've talked about talked to that have done some significant analysis of comparing Pitney geocoding to others have really been impressed with the accuracy level that they get from the Pitney Bowes geocoders So I've run through this pretty quickly today. Uh, you know, in summary for you, you know, spend your time, get your geocoding from an industry leader. You know, Pitney Bowes offers a scalable spatial platform that can help you to analyze your um, spatial data, whatever that format it takes. And it, they have uh, data sets that can be brought to bear to take advantage of the location information that you have and, and augment your own data uh, with the data that they have. And, you know, the geocoding capabilities that they have are second to none. And 
being able to integrate them with an existing environment with Esri, like Esri, provides you with a capability of taking advantage of the benefits of Pitney Bowes without necessarily needing to switch everything that you have. Um, it allows you to extend your current environment, improves efficiency, reduces costs, and overall, the final goal is always improving your business outcomes. So I'll pause for a moment. Since I've run through this quickly, Jen, do we have any questions? Uh, yeah, if in? anybody has a question at this point, you should uh, enter it into that Q&A widget that you see at the bottom of your screen. Give anybody a moment. So far we haven't had much, but um, if those of you um, that are on the call or watching the recorded webinar have a question or are wondering how this might work in your environment, you can easily answer the one question that will come up at the end of the survey and someone will get in touch with you. Um, so David, it doesn't look like anybody has any questions at this time. So I just want to thank everyone for joining. Uh, thank you, David, for this great presentation about how the geocoding connector works and what LPA brings to the table. And I wish everyone on this call a great day. Thank you.